Welcome back everybody. I'm Robert Rodriguez and you're watching The California Hunter. Welcome back everybody. I'm so happy you're here with me today. I leave to Alaska for salmon fishing in a few days, so I am super excited. But today we're gonna talk about our number one thing from our 10 things you need for your first hunt. If you wanna watch that video, click right here. So that first thing is a hunter's education course. Let me talk a little bit about that. So in the state of California, if you don't have a hunting license already, a hunter's education certificate already, or a valid hunting license from another state or province that was valid in the last two years, in California, you'll have to attend a hunter's education course. So again, this is for California. If you're from another state, you need to look up your local fish and wildlife laws. There are some uh, age limits where if you're beyond a certain age or born in a specific year, you may not have to attend these courses. Now in California, students have the option to choose from three different formats of classes. The traditional uh, in-class course, a hybrid course, which is online and then followed up by an in-class uh, course and then a fully online course. Now, these courses are given by over a thousand volunteers here in the state of California and are offered throughout the state. So we'll be able to look those up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So before we can even sign up for this course, we have to get what's called a go number. In the state of California, that number will be assigned to you as a hunter. You're gonna to wanna to keep that number and save it somewhere. You will need that number for both logging in and if you buy your hunting license, let's say at a sporting goods store, you're gonna to need to be able to give them that number. So I'm gonna show you how to sign up and get that number first and then we're gonna move into signing up for the actual course. Okay everybody, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go on the computer and show you how to get that go number for starters. So I'm gonna do a search here for California Department of Fish and Wildlife. I'll bring up their website. Now their website is wildlife.ca.gov and we'll have a link to that down in the description. Once you get to their website, you're gonna come over and click on licensing. That pop-up comes up and we're gonna click right here where it says purchase license, register for Go ID. Scroll down a little ways and we're gonna click right here where it says customer login slash register. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sign up someone here and put all their information in and get them a valid go number. So birth date, last name, and then we click next. Now we're gonna select one of these. What this is is the ID that we're gonna use to identify who we are right now. Now we don't have any of this information, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select one. I am gonna select state ID. You can see that there are other options, passport, green card, things like that. But we're gonna go ahead and select state ID. Uh, the state ID is issued in California, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. This is a driver's license number. Then click next. Now, what this does is it goes in and it checks using that state ID, the date of birth and the last name to make sure that there's not another person with that same information or maybe possibly you have a, a go number already assigned to you. That's what it's trying to do here is look up to see if you have that. This person does not, so we're gonna create a new customer record. Now, when we click on that new customer record, it brings us to this window here. We're gonna verify the information that we've already put in and now we're gonna start filling out the rest, rest of this information. So it's gonna ask us about selecting the residency of this person, whether they're a California resident or not, maybe military. So this person does happen to be a California resident. Okay, and I'm gonna fill out the rest of their information. Now, obviously we're blurring all this stuff for privacy, um, but uh, you will just type in all of your pertinent information here. Now, when you get down to this section here, um, emailing news, uh, emailing licenses reminders, I like leaving those on. It'll give you reminders about uh, when things are coming up, uh, drawings, if you have drawings out there and things like that. Great, so now that I've got all that information in there, I'm going to click save. And that will get us our Go ID number. So you can see here, I scrolled down a little ways just so we can see it, all the information, obviously again, some stuff blurred. I'm going to make sure that we blur out this Go ID as well, or at least a portion of it. 
Uh, and then down at the bottom, you can see this profile does not have evidence of a hunter safety education on file and will not be able to purchase hunting items. If you successfully pass an online California safety course, your hunter education certificate number will be automatically uploaded to your profile within 48 hours. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go in and we're going to sign up for that course using that go number that we have. So let me make a copy of this go number here. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take you to sign up for that hunter safety course. We're gonna open up a new window. We're gonna type in wildlife.ca.gov. And that is gonna take us back to California Department of Fish and Wildlife's website. We're gonna come over and click on learning and then click on hunter education. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, we can see here that there are the three options I'd mentioned before. The traditional course, which is going to a class and taking approximately an eight hour class. Uh, the option two of an online and follow up with an in-class, probably just like the testing portion. And then option three is a 100% online course. Now, you're a first time hunter. I would highly recommend that we go the traditional route. That's what I'm gonna sign this person up for is the traditional route. The reason for that is you're gonna be able to interact with these volunteers. Usually there's a few volunteers uh, that are teaching these courses and you'll be able to ask questions um, and get some good feedback and maybe even find somebody to take you on your first hunt. So think about that. Uh, interaction with other hunters is a really good thing and it's something that I really really think that a new hunter should try to do if you don't have anybody to mentor you along attending this class is a good start so I'm gonna sign this person up for the traditional class we're gonna click on that link there and if we go to browse slash register for traditional classes it's gonna pop open a new window in that new window if we just scroll down we can see Knights Landing California New Hall California San Luis Obispo California but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here to use my zip code. I'm going to type in my zip code and I'm going to change this particular one to 20 mile radius because we don't need to look that far away. We're in a pretty populated area. So if I start looking, here we go. Fullerton, California uh, Rifle Pistol Association located in Fullerton. There's another one in Anaheim. Uh, there's another one in Corona. So what I'm going to do is I already know the availability and we're going to sign up for the Corona class on August 19th. So I'm going to click view event. Now this is going to give me all the information about this class. It tells me what time, date, it's meeting, the location of the event. I can get directions by clicking on this link here about the event. It starts at 7 a.m. sharp, $35 cash only includes a continental breakfast uh, so if you look at all this it gives you everything that we need to know about this particular location and getting to it and signing up and the cost uh, it also has a phone number for questions and an email so if you need to contact someone uh, you can do that right here now the requirements below very important that you read this it says right here that you require to have a go ID, which we, we've already seen how to do that. We want to make sure that that's done before we get to this process. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click register now. And I'm going to go ahead and complete this form for the person that is signing up for this class. Now, this is what we're going to enter in that go number that we had gotten from the previous sign up back over here. So our go number here, we're copying that number and moving it into this location right here. Okay, so we're here now, we're gonna hit continue. So it brings up a student consent form. I just downloaded that form by clicking on it. Now these forms will need to be printed out and brought with you to the class. So don't forget to do that part. Okay, so we're here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read this section it tells you if you need to cancel, it gives you the dates to do that by. You're going to have to access your email to do that. So I'm going to click I understand these policies listed above and I'm going to complete this registration. Now, it does go back over some information here, talking about the location, the times, and uh, the amount that you have to bring, as well as 
phone number, email if you have any questions uh, for the event uh, staff. So we have successfully signed up and registered for this class. It gives us our class information here. Our registration is complete. We have some information down here at the bottom and we have all of the event information as far as the time we have to be on site to check in, how much money we need to bring with us, so on and so forth. So congratulations, you're now done. You're signed up for your class. You will be able to attend that once you've attended it. I think it takes a couple weeks, it said, to get your GO number updated with your Hunter certification. You will also be receiving a card. Make sure you save that card. This is what that card will look like. A couple other things I wanna go over. With this and getting your hunting license, there are a couple other courses that you can attend. Now, if you have some background in hunting already and you just don't have a Hunter's Education course card and, and you're gonna to need to take a, a education course, there is an advanced course you can also take. If you already have some hunting experience, there's an advanced class that's offered. There's also a bow class that's offered. That bow class may be required if you're gonna bow hunt within your state. Here in California, it is not required. I know for sure in Alaska it is. So before you bow hunt, make sure you look that up. You may have to take a bow hunter's education course on top of this course as well. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope this was helpful and brings you one step closer to your first hunt. I'm super excited for you. Come back, we're gonna be dropping video number two on the 10 things that you need for your first hunt. Go watch another video, and remember, anyone can hunt.